Asphalt compaction is the process of mechanically increasing the density of a layer of material. It is made denser by reducing the air voids between the particles in the mix. Denser material is better able to support heavy loads without rutting, cracking or moving. The asphalt mat produced by the paver will normally have about 10-15% to air voids. Air voids allow water to enter the mat where it can expand and contract as temperatures change. This flexing can crack the pavement. Eventually, vehicles will compact the asphalt, causing deep rutting. Gaining effective compaction is the least expensive element in extending the surface life of a road, as achieving good density can save significant amounts in future road maintenance. All elements of the mix – aggregates, bitumen and compaction – are equally important to extending pavement life and reducing lifetime costs. The vibratory force of the road rollers used in asphalt surfacing use the weight and impact of the rollers' vibrations and produce rapid succession of pressure waves that spread in all directions. The effective waves are those that go down into the mat. They help to break the bonds between the aggregates and set them in motion. Aggregates in motion tend to reorient themselves easier under the weight of the drum and impact forces. They will reorientate from the bottom of the map up to the top. The other aspect of vibratory force is frequency. Frequency is defined as the number of times that the drum hits the mat and is rated in vibrations per second. Vibration per minute VPM, or impacts per meter IPM. The important thing to know about vibratory frequency is its relationship to the machine's working speed. On a vibratory compactor, the drum moves up and down rapidly to create the force of vibration. The up and down movement is caused by a rotating eccentric weight that is inside the drum.